don't have do I have any joy? Strawberry man, I see. <laughs> Snug as a bug on a drug. Please head into the theater and take a seat. Show. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed, no? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another, and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. He's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. That's Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Now, please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Uh oh, I wasn't. I actually was not paying attention. Oh no! No one told me there would be a test. Look at that strut I got going on. Strut like a G. The answer is always take joy. Just a friendly reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it, but a word to the wise, proper decent people don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking or entering. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Avoid them and we shan't have disagreements. Player 
What's gonna happen to this guy? Jack Constable. Constable, Constable, your question. Right. Well, here's my interrogative. If I see you running, jumping about, or crouching in the shadows, what will I likely do? A. Tell you to stop your rotten shenanigans before I smash you in the face. B. Run and jump and play myself. C. Oh God, the eyes. Sir. Excellent! Yes! Do give the ladies a lovely bouquet! They do so love flowers! Oh dear! It looks like the eyes have you both, as they say! How disappointing! Oh, Remember, what happens this doctors guy. are here to help you! If you've forgotten your joy, doctors will smell it right away! And they'll give you a quick injection to make your day a lovely one! Dr. Byron, what is your question? What happens when you take too much joy? A. You can't find your own house. B. Who cares? C. Please, God, make them stop staring. Who cares? That's right. Player one. It hardly matters. You might lose a few hours, but sooner or later, you'll find yourself on a bench. No worse for the wear. Oh, player two. Today is just not your day, is it? But you can always come back for a seventh try. And that concludes this episode of Oh Behave. I hope you made it to the village. If you didn't, remember, we're always happy to give you another shot if you're willing to behave like a decent citizen. Of course we are. Here in Hamlin Village, we're always happy. Well, that's all right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time to play Oh Behave, the game where you show that you're ready to come back to Hamlin Village and behave like a proper, decent citizen. What the hell? I passed the test. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. Oh. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our Come on, son the or daughter? If you want to fit in, you should. Hey, just say uh, hello to everyone you meet. Like go to the day, go boy. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. Stand See, up, stand up, stand the up. eyes, the eyes. This guy's gotta keep failing every single time. I'm out. Bitches, I'm out. I wonder if I could have completely not even done that test at the beginning if I didn't know. Or if I knew. Wow, if I sleep all the way, I can actually sleep off my joy. <laughs> now I lay me down to sleep. Pneumatic stash. Okay, let's stash some stuff.
There you go. Okay. Okay, no crouching. No running. May I express my delight that you passed the examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Well, sir, welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, please bear in mind there is now a nocturnal curfew. Best be indoors after nightfall, sir. That was weird. So from here, I've got to get to St. George's home and then into the parade. Except that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade. Like the one I left on my desk in the parade. How do I get a new one? Wait. The old government printing office was on Maiden Home. Maybe I can break in and steal some blanks. It's like a bunch of other quests that keep popping up on me. Joy levels are dropping. Oh no! This place is massive. That's an awful lot of bobbies. It's a downer breach. Straight up murdered him. Keep walking fancy. Don't draw attention to yourself. What's going on there? The bobbies won't like it if I get too close to that. Unless I look like a council worker, I suppose. How does one look like a council worker? Gotta get a disguise. Say gap anywhere. So pretty and colorful. Uh, I think I, should, I still have enough joy levels, right? A joy detector. I better take my joy. Yeah. Still good, still good. Don't lollygag. Is there like a way to detox from Joy? I don't have time to stop and smell the roses because that Joy level is dropping. I have no idea. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. Next week? Arthur? Arthur?
Arthur Hastings. Lovely day for it. Don't you lovely day for it, me, you idiot. It's me, Sally. Oh, I knew it was you. I mean, the glasses, the hair, the really adorable jacket. Don't ask me how. You're not that awkward little boy anymore, are you? But the way you walk, it's, it's like the mask isn't even there. I just, I just knew there's Arthur. Sally, you look fantastic. This ancient thing. I've had it two weeks. I'm out of my mind with boredom. Green and white checked. Your dress, the last time I saw you, running out the door. <laughs> oh, that horrible gingham dress. Oh, God, that takes you back. <sighs> You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little fucking faith. I'm not going to turn you in. Whatever possesses you to go off your joy? <sighs> Percy. Oh, God. I saw a picture of him. I promised I'd look after him in Germany. I have to go and find him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. <laughs> Good Christ. Just tell the policeman that. I'm sure they'll wave you right on through. Yeah, haven't figured that bit out yet. I'm very close with General Bing. Of course you are. No. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. I mean, I could go see him and ask him to give you a letter of transit. Don't put the general out on my account. I'm sure you've only so many favours you can ask of him. My God. You still hate me, don't you? Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 years. We were 16! How could you? Because I liked him. Because he had that adorable beard. I don't know. There isn't a reason for everything. Cheater. You're the last bloody person who should be off his joy. I can't believe you are. Believe me. Take enough stuff. Look. Some downer broke into my lab last week. Literally tore the bars off the windows. And the ridiculous thing is I forgot to lock the front door. Point is... It's a horrible, terrible world out there. I just don't see you smashing your way into the city without a great deal of help. Oh, no. Not me. I'm living on the King's Road right now. Of course you are. I couldn't exactly have stayed there, could I? Like, nothing happened. <sighs> Look. I'm sorry. This isn't what I meant to... <sighs> Maybe we could help each other. Maybe I could come by when I'm feeling... better? Brilliant. You ass. How about going to the King's Road, knocking on her door and apologising grievously? And asking nicely for a letter of transit. She knows General Bing. Damn it, lads! She's Scarper! Oh, but what have we here? A friend of Miss Boyle's, innit? Funny, you don't seem all high and mighty. Perhaps we can express our feelings about Miss Boyle to her friend. Stop breaking. Oh, yeah? Ooh, I got seven points. Since so when? I kind of want that. Super duper. Okay, we'll deal with that in a second. Let's me. Oh, I just shit. All right, I lost all my weapons. To be happy. Stop being so bloody difficult. Cut on. Fuck up, you. Take your joy. I'm gonna dump on you. Keep calm. Keep calm. <laughs> Cheer up, you bastard! 
shove. Headshot. What did that parry thing next? He's on the ropes! Little bitch. That's right. What am I doing? They started it. Guess I could have just ran away. Oh well. <laughs> what do you gotta do? What you gonna do? Nah, nah, what's all the scuffle? You've been having an altercation in the alley? Uh, nothing you need to worry about, Constable. I'll, uh, just be on my way. And where is it you're on your way to? Precisely. Just off to see an old friend on St. George. Oh, well, no need to be in such a hurry. The bridge to St. George is, uh, under renovations. Oh, for how long? I hesitate to prognosticate, sir. Dr. Faraday's the only one who knows how to fix the uh, ridiculous contraptions on them bridges. Word has been sent. But we've not had the courtesy of a reply. Why don't you, uh, I don't know, uh, go to Dr. Faraday's house? Because Dr. F has removed to a secret location, the, uh, location which headquarters keeps, uh, uh secret. All right. I'll ask your headquarters then. You some kind of troublemaker. Stay out of city business. I suppose if I want to go and make up with Sally, I need to get Dr. Faraday to come fix his bridge. So I need to visit police headquarters and find out where he's gone. Not risky at all. It's always a little extra complicated with Sally, isn't it? Okay. Faraday HQ. Look at the strut. <laughs> Finding Faraday. You will take your joy immediately. Found to me. Not as fast. Mm -hmm. There you go. Take it. I can't get through without it. I could take these all the time and I wouldn't have any worries. I really hope this is the correct path. Lovely day for it. You're looking nice and trim. Bro. What are you doing creeping in the alley? Well, thank you. I try to keep myself in decent shape. High off my gourd right now. Police HQ. That sounds like a bad idea. Uh, hello. I'm attempting to locate Dr. Faraday. Uh, can you tell me where I can find him? I'm afraid that information is not for public consumption, sir. I'll go tell him where to find Bobby Hickenbotham, though. Oh, for heaven's sake. He's not at a reform club again, is he? He was supposed to go to Lud's own. Well, apparently he feels so guilty that Dr. F has been deprived of the liberties, which are the birthright of every English citizen, he's gonna get his arse spanked. 
Constable Bevan, I'm not the public. I'm from the Department of Archives, Printing and Recycling. We're conducting an investigation into Dr. Faraday's handling of municipal records relating to the maintenance of the interinsular bridges. Two requests have already been sent by Miss Bing to your superior requesting this information. If I have to go back to the parade, Miss Bing's next letter regarding this apparently deliberate festinence will include the name of the last person I talked to. Will that be you, Constable, or the chap who keeps the constabulary's address book? In that case, sir, why don't you take the elevator on up to records? They'll sort you out. Thank you. I shall. What the hell is festinence? They deprived Dr. Faraday of his liberties, but he made all the bridges. Oh, I thought I could maybe sneak up on the guards. Percival Hastings, is it not? N no, it's Arthur. Percival went away. Odd. There are some things you think you will never forget. But then I suppose you do. I'm Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Memories play tricks on you, do they not? Yeah, it's creepy as hell, dude. You must get back on board! How old are you, Mr. Hastings? Oh, I'm 30. They typed my birthday wrong on the card. So, why are you here? No, I just need to take my brother to the train. I typed my birthday wrong on the card. Are you feeling all right, sir? You might want to see a doctor, sir. Okay, that's stupid. Wow. <laughs> that's so dumb. Didn't even get like I'm a sh sexy in my garden. I'll fix you. Can't die. Check out the door. Hey. Light up there. 